Yeah, man, I used what to have dreadlocks down to here, you know. You used to be a dreadlock? Yeah, 17 years. I used to have long dreadlocks. <laughs> oh, cool. So I was a Rasta man. Oh, cool. You know, Rasta man deal with bamboo. Yes, yes, bamboo. yes, yes, yes. Okay, so good. My heart was always in it. Hey guys, well, I see here again from my islandjamaica.com. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. You know bamboo, right? But did you know that it makes some of the most durable products, the most durable furniture? Well, now you know. And today, I'm at the original bamboo factory in St. Catherine, Jamaica. I'm with Mr. Hamilton. He's gonna tell us about that and more in our little bamboo factory tour. If you've not yet subscribed to my channel, so I invite you to hit that subscribe button and tap the bell notification. I do a lot of videos capturing stuff like these. I call it the real Jamaica. I don't want you to miss any of that. So, hit that subscribe button, tap the bell notification. That way, you see updated on all my latest videos. Let's go. All right, guys. So, this is Mr. Hamilton, John Hamilton. Hello. And the name of the place here is? Uh, the Original Bamboo Factory. Original Bamboo Factory. Yeah, we also go by the name of Bamboo Jamaica on ba Instagram. Wonderful, wonderful. He's going to take us on a little tour. Sure. Let's go. Also, the bay beds being made up here. So what is, okay, so, all right, so I'm seeing so this is a little work space, work area. Yeah. Uh, this looks like a, a shape, what do you call this again? A day, day bed. What do you call it? Day, day bed. Day, day bed. No, oh, day bed. Day bed, okay. So this is a day Which bed. Which is basically a large sofa. A large sofa, yeah. Yes. That's the one we talking about. Deeper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, okay, hello guys. How do, how do. All right. Um, so what happens is that, um, this is nothing bamboo. Double pegs. Yeah, dowels. Mm -hmm. You know, the um, everything is dowels. Mm -hmm. And then what we do is we'll split the bamboo uh -huh. and we'll pin them to the, the split bamboo to the slat support mm -hmm. on the bottom mm. where the foam can then go on top of the cushion. Cool, cool, cool. So this is, do you think this is strong? This is, this will be able to hold. Uh, how strong is this? Yeah, man, very strong. Bamboo is very, very strong. How strong? Why? I don't know how many. <laughs> I don't know how many people can get on this. Well, four or five people can get on this. Yeah. Well, comfortably. Yeah. But um, you know, it's it's excessively strong. It's yeah. Not, yeah. But generally speaking, generally speaking, I wanted to find out from you. I, I heard that bamboo is strong. Um, I heard it's got a higher tensile strength than steel. Yeah. I, yeah. I heard. It's like vegetable steel. Yeah. 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 Uh, how is how is that so? Uh, from what I know, bamboo is one of those. And the fibers also, they run differently to wood. Uh -huh. Wood run laterally, uh -huh. lateral, and the bamboo are uh, longitudinal. Longitudinal. Yeah. Ah. So it's very difficult to break it like that. Uh -huh. But if you break it like that, you can split it easily. Ah. Uh -huh. Along the long. Ah. Uh -huh. I see. So this is a new um, design that we're building here, mm -hmm. which is a giant sofa for some clients mm -hmm. who are building a big house at Round Hill. Mm -hmm. It was a custom design mm -hmm. that the client came to us with and we advised him on various details of it, but we think we can do it. Mm -hmm. um, all the angles are mitered, mm -hmm. so you have, it's like a box design with the bamboo cut at 45 degrees in all angles. Mm -hmm. We see on a regular chair like this one here, mm -hmm. we don't mitre normally. It's simpler just to make hole saws mm -hmm. and push one bamboo into another. You, you use the term mitre. What does that? What does mitre mean? Forty-five degrees angles. Okay. Cut like that. Okay. 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 So so you okay. don't have anything mitered, right? Uh huh. On hand to show you right now. All right. But That's, maybe you'll see this day bed as it progresses yeah. during the afternoon. All right. I see. Tell me about this over here. What is this? Well, that's that's a, that's a boot sedan. A what? A boot sedan. Boot Sudan. A Boot Sudan. Boot Sudan. Yes. <laughs> you don't know what a Boot Sudan is? No, I don't know what a Boot Sudan is. So a this a, this a is like a, like a kitchen, t uh, like, a, 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 like a bar table or a kitchen table or something? Could be. But you ask what it is. Uh -huh. And that's what it is. Cool. Looks good. Um, I'll tell you, it, it, it comes with pieces. Of, it's a, it, Okay. Buddhists. Mm -hmm. It's a Buddhist temple. Mm -hmm. So if you practice Buddhism, ah. you need a butsudan. Ah. And to your, behind you mm -hmm. are some pieces that belong to it. Oh. This, 
There's a piece in the middle there. Uh -huh. And a bottom piece here. Oh. And then this part here. Uh -huh. Right here. Goes on the wall above it. Mm -hmm. And you open it up here, and the scriptures oh. are on here, and the lights in here that, ah. that, that turn on. Ah, so interesting. It's, it's just being re refinished up. Uh -huh. And um, I, I I noticed that you have some. Don't you? Does insect? They have a problem with insects and stuff. No, that's just, that's just dust from. Yeah, the, but generally with bamboo. Oh yeah. Well the. You know, bamboo is notoriously known for being a favorite food for the post-powder beetle. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, Jamaicans know it as chuchi. Yeah. Yeah, so we have to go to special lengths to preserve the bamboo and make sure that our furniture mm -hmm. isn't eaten by the chuchi when it leaves here. Mm -hmm. So that's a long process, starting with the selection of the right aged bamboo in the bush. That's what I was about to ask you. Uh, mature, it has to be at least three years old, the actual comb. Uh -huh. And then um, we cut it the time of the moon. Mm -hmm. oh, the, oh, that's important too. That's important too. You have to follow everything. When in Rome, do as the Romans do, you yeah. know, as they say. <laughs> yeah. And in Jamaica, you know, legend go, you know, people f faithfully follow that, yeah. you know, yeah. when to plant crops, when yeah. to cut crops, yeah. Yeah. and particularly harvesting and cutting trees and yeah. things. Yeah. Um, so um, we cut three days um, after the um, new um, full moon. Mm. And it works. Yeah. To three days before the new moon. It works. Mm -hmm. And then we bring in the bamboo. Oh, well, then it's clump cured. Mm -hmm. So you leave it for as many weeks as you can in the bush, mm -hmm. drying out slowly. Oh. And you have um, with the leaves on. Mm -hmm. So you basically cut it at the base mm -hmm. and just leave it. As long as it's not um, in the direct sunlight and going to split up mm -hmm. or in someone's path, mm -hmm. they'll burn it down. Yeah. You know, um, if it's on your own property and you have bamboo, better still. Yeah. And then that let it dry out as much as possible. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to do because people want, as in cut the bamboo, they want them pay and they yeah. want their money. Yeah. So it doesn't always happen with us. Yeah. But in the ideal world, that would be the right way to go. Mm -hmm. And then the bamboo is brought in here and it stood up. You can see the bamboo drying up here mm -hmm. with the base of the bamboo on the bottom mm -hmm. up mm -hmm. and letting the bamboo drain mm -hmm. and dry. So all the water runs down mm -hmm. and we leave it there for a few weeks mm -hmm. to dry. Yeah. Um, before it starts cracking and the sun gets to it too much, mm -hmm. we bring it inside, mm -hmm. bore it bore the nodes out mm -hmm. and we dip it in immersion dip mm -hmm. in a prophylactic chemical dip mm -hmm. shortly mm -hmm. just like a short dip and put it away in the storage which I'll show you shortly uh -huh. in the storage racks yeah. and then it goes on drying there for a few more weeks mm -hmm. until um, it's ready to be used mm -hmm. and it's dry enough and the bamboo is selected out mm -hmm. the skin is scraped off mm -hmm. like these have been scraped mm -hmm. you can see the hair is still on them mm -hmm. And then they are cut into lengths mm -hmm. and they immersed again in the chemical dip for a little longer this time. Oh, right. Each one cut to the length desired. Oh. And then it's made into furniture, but that's a treatment process. I was going to that, that, that the treatment. The treatment process. Right. So it's not as it's not as long too as people might think. It is a process, oh, yeah. a long detailed process. Exactly. That, chem that chemical you mentioned, is it, is it something that you have to buy, you, you, you make that thing? Uh, yeah, well, the, the solvent we use is kerosene. Okay, okay. And then we add some chemical, which oh. we buy here. Okay, cool, cool. Okay. cool. We find that the, the water preserved, the water based chemicals mm -hmm. um, filled up the bamboo with so much water that when they dried, they tended to crack mm -hmm. and open up. Mm -hmm. So we tried using our oil-based um, solvent, which would reduce the amount of cracking because bamboo has this habit of cracking. Mm -hmm. And when you're using it for furniture, you don't want too many cracks. I understand. You know, for other things, yes, maybe, but nothing. I understand. Uh, I said here. Yeah. All right. So, so what, 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 what the well, the lady over here is scraping. Yes. And, and the scraping process you said is for well, what again? It's two, two. It's um, two processes. Once, once we scrape the bamboo. Mm -hmm. 
in when it's cut into pieces. Mm -hmm. And then after it's built now, they go back and they scrape it, they scrape it again. Mm -hmm. It's like a double process. So it does, it does to give it a smooth sheen, I guess? Or is there some more to it? No, what happens is the um, the, the outer skin of the bamboo, mm -hmm. when you scrape it, mm -hmm. it doesn't always come off completely. Mm -hmm. And it's often a very little filament of skin left on that you can't even see. Mm -hmm. um, so this is to remove that because when you lacquer it and seal it, mm -hmm. if you have any of that on it, it doesn't stick to the bamboo properly. I see. And it'll come up, it won't finish well. Understand. So Understand. as well as sanding, mm -hmm. it's part of the sanding process. You mm -hmm. scrape it and then they'll sand it with sandpaper to, to get it really perfect condition. Okay. So when it's sprayed, mm -hmm. it'll come out perfect. Wonderful. Um, I see the gentleman, uh, I suppose this is called pinning. Yeah, pegging. <laughs> pegging, okay. So it's pegging and it's the same bamboo, it's yes. the same bamboo you used to peg. Right. So you, and those pegs would go through the same process or just... Yeah, see so the bamboo, the dowels? The dowels? Dowel. Dowel. Uh -huh. What is that? It's like a wooden dowel, but uh -huh. these are bamboo dowels. Uh-huh. Which are basically wooden pegs. Uh-huh. Okay. So you just... Put it in. Uh -huh. Good, good. Mm -hmm. uh, and then cut it. These sandy knives, they take a lot of wear and tear. Yeah. And we have to get good. heavy duty blades because good. the bamboo is very, you know, strong material. Yeah. So it's a harsh on our tools. Wow. And knives and machete fires. Wow. Okay. Wow. So look here around here. Yeah. This is, um, um, this, this is a new saw we've just got now, especially got cut the, the mitered end, the mitered um, end. So they're, they're they're trying out something relatively. Wow. Oh, that's it. This time. Oh, you want to probably turn it up, turn it around? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. There you go. That's it. So that's what you you. So we're building make. something like this. Wonderful. Cool, cool, cool. Huh? Mitre joint here, here, here. Yeah. And there, and there. Uh -huh. um, then there will be slats like the like the daylight, uh -huh. so there'll be uh -huh. different on uh -huh. slats. Uh -huh. So what are some of the so I see chairs, I see chairs, you mentioned the button boot sedan. Boot sedan. Mm -hmm. uh, nice. Dining chair. Dining chair. Over there. And this is a regular oh the that's those are dining chair here. Dining chair, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, the sofa here. What are some of the other products that you have here? Yeah. Uh, um, I, I I see a bossy chair over there. <laughs> that's yeah, it's had its had its day. I don't know why people don't they just let them go bad. It's the carib chair. That was one of our original designs. What do you call it? Carib carib design. Carib as in the Arawak carib. That's it. Yeah, we had the Arawak design. Uh -huh. We have the carib design. <laughs> we have a sunshine design. Cool. cool. We have the Taino design. Yeah. And then we have the Lorraine chair. Ah. Named after Ralph Lorraine because I went onto his veranda and. Ah. So stole his design for a bamboo chair. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what are some of the other, some of the, of, of the other <clears throat> products or furniture that you make here? Okay, you, we do bedroom, walk, dining room, living walk. room. Mm -hmm. So, bedroom, dining room, living room. So, bar. Uh huh. And then, custom work. Mm -hmm. So, if someone wants a fence in the back of their garden mm -hmm. to block out something, mm -hmm. we do that. Uh -huh. if someone wants a, a complete facade and a bar or something. Mm -hmm. You do that. Someone wants a gazebo. Uh -huh. You do that. You do that. Someone wants a treehouse. You yeah, do that. You do all of that. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Anything with, with bamboo that uh, is wanted. Yeah. Can. All right. And, and you said, as far as you, you are the only bamboo, you are the original bamboo. We are the original bamboo factory. In Jamaica. Yeah, we must have named that because we knew that there'd be others to follow. So we, <laughs> we named ourselves the original to start off with. Oh, the original. But we still are the original. Uh, is the original, well, the original is still the best. Yeah, yeah. So, ah, cool, mm. cool. My brother, how are you doing? Hi. Listen, listen. So every, before that saw came along, every piece of bamboo was cut by hand. And with, these with, saws, uh -huh. they, only, they only stay sharp for so long. So every now and again, I was being sent off to the shop to buy a new saw. A new saw, yeah. And so... You know, I, I said, you know, we must be able to mechanize this a bit more. So we, when we had that sofa to make, we yeah. went and scourged out and bought a new saw. Okay. So hopefully yeah. that new saw will be using over here mm -hmm. and cutting all these cutting bamboo. Cutting all of these, yeah. So these bamboo will just come in now from outside. They were, dra they were drying mm -hmm. and they're, they're partly dried now. Mm -hmm. And they're going to be... Um, Free trees. They're going to be bored, they're knocked out, their nodes are going to be knocked out. Show them how they knock the nodes out. The nodes are the little pieces in between there, right? Eh? Boggy? 
Yeah. Show them the, the nose knocking out process. Okay. See the steel there? Uh -huh. Okay. To okay. so show them, see the node? The, the yeah. node. So the nodes are knocked out. Well, you know, you could use a machine or something, but we have strong man in this country, so we put it there. If they um, use the machine, you'd still have to pay them to knock them out with the machine. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. So, All right. Okay. So what you're doing now is what you call it then? Knocking out the nose. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Okay. Oh. Uh, that's to get the chemical in when you dip. Sure, sure. So what you did a while ago went all the way to the end. No, we we'll turned it around. And do the other side. Yeah, that's. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Okay, come over this side. Uh huh. This is the dip in here. Mm -hmm. You can see the bamboo inside. Mm -hmm. Dip in the chemical. Mm -hmm. Oh, I smell the cursing oil as well. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, so these ones have already been dipped over here. Uh-huh. They're drying out. Mm -hmm. But basically he they put them in here and put the bamboo down, force them down mm -hmm. so the chemical goes inside. It's important, it's important to get the chemical inside the bamboo because mm -hmm. that's where the insects first attack and that's the softer part of the bamboo, the ah. more penetrable yeah. part of the bamboo. On the outside now, the skin is tough, it's harder to permeate and um, so the insects start eating mm -hmm. from the inside. So. Yeah. But the thing is to get the bamboo, the, the dip looks a bit full, boggy, it looks about... Hmm? Okay, so this is all kerosene with other, other yes. chemicals. Right. Okay, good, good, good. How, how long? I'm, I'm and it doesn't really take long. Okay, okay. They, they, they go in there for how many hours? Two or three hours? Two hours. Maybe two hours. My mom might stay. I might come in with a more treatment. I will drive it either hour and a half or two. Okay. Mm -hmm. But if you know, mm -hmm. we get a certain time and pre-treat and get back again. Okay. You can't so these ones are pre-treated. So okay. These aren't pre-treated. These are for um, Martin? Yeah. For, for, for so this is the sofa that building yeah. now? Mm -hmm. okay. Right. The sofa that you saw being built? We're going to use this. What right. you last night now? I'm treating yeah. again this morning. What? What? I'm treating last night now. Did the first treat last night? Already? Yeah, I'm ready. The next one. Oh, so one cool. Perfect. That drum. Okay. And I see all sizes of bamboo over here. Yeah. yeah. We, we use all sizes of bamboo. But you're going to need them at some point, huh? For different things. Okay, cool. They're all cut for specific items. But they're, oh, oh. they're making bedside tables, I believe those. Uh, yeah. How long do bamboo furniture last? A lifetime. Lifetime? What do you mean? You mean 70 years old? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, we have furniture um, that we made when we started business still, mm. you know, 30 years ago. Oh. And it's still in, in pristine condition. No problem. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I wanted to, and bamboo. So bamboo. this is a storage rack. Uh huh where the dry bamboo are put. Mm -hmm. So once they, they, they have got their pre-treatment, mm -hmm. they've come in, mm -hmm. they get stacked away on the, um, on the racks. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like there are many bamboo here, but there's actually quite a lot of bamboo here. Okay. But we could always have more racks. Yeah, and I see all of them have the nodes bore. Um, yeah, they all, exactly. Okay, okay. Been, good, good, good. So, so you shouldn't have any problem with insects here? No. Shouldn't? Sure. No, not the problem yeah. we had before mm -hmm. was we used to bring in the bamboo mm -hmm. dry from the bush mm -hmm. and not pre-treat it. Oh, okay. And then we would just put them on the racks mm -hmm. and then they would stay there and gather dust and dry out. Okay. But they would also get insect, insect attack. Oh, cool. So we um, learned from that. We learned from that and we said we're going to have to pre-treat them mm -hmm. while they're drying. All right, I wanted to ask you, Mr. Hamilton, what was... So you are the managing director here. Yes. What was the inspiration for bamboo? The, or, or, the original bamboo <laughs> factory. <laughs> this is, this is mm. I must say, guys, um, this is Mr. Hamilton again. And I, I'm, uh, I am very into, much into natural, traditional, sustainable life, sustainable living. And so bamboo was always something of an interest to me. And so I went and I went to search for him and found him. And so I got curious, but I want to know <laughs> what was. Yeah, man, I used to have dreadlocks down to here, you know. You used to be a dreadlock? Yeah, 17 years. So I used to have long dreadlocks. <laughs> oh, cool. So I was a Rasta man. Oh, cool. Yeah, a Rasta man deal with bamboo. Yes, deal yes, 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 yes. Okay, so good. My heart was always in it. Man. Yes, yes. And I went to agricultural college. Uh huh. So I had some, my background was that in that. Yeah. Um, and then after college, I went traveling around the world. Mm -hmm. I went to various places in the Far East, like uh, Thailand, mm -hmm. um, and I went to some beaches down in Thailand mm -hmm. where they had huts mm -hmm. made of bamboo. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, wow, this is incredible. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, we have, um, they're, they're using the bamboo just around to mm. make huts and living mm -hmm. in, and we mm. should be doing that in Jamaica. Yep. And we're not. Because we do have a lot of bamboo I, here. I knew Jamaica well, yeah. and I know that every parish is full of bamboo. Yes, yes. And I was thinking, well, why don't they have, um, you know, um, we're not doing anything with yeah. this country, with, with, and this is an important um, plant. Yeah, and we have so much of it growing in in Jamaica. So when I came back and I was in the film business, anyway, I, my f f good friend of mine, Dominic, said, um, you know, we were at a wedding, his mm -hmm. cousin's wedding, mm -hmm. and he said, come and have a look at this furniture. Mm -hmm. So we went on the veranda mm -hmm. on the back, mm -hmm. and there was a lovely set of bamboo furniture. Mm -hmm. So he said, well, I've never seen this before. Where's it from? You know. Mm -hmm. And he said, well, it was actually made in Dominican Republic, mm. but they bought it in Los Angeles mm. and imported it to Jamaica. <laughs> I said, but this is just Jamaican bamboo. We can yeah. make this here. Yeah. So Tony Hart was there, and yeah. I said to Tony... Tony like, Hart from Montego Bay. Yeah. yeah. I said to him, what do you think about the idea? And yeah. he said, well, as long as you can make sure that the bugs don't eat it, yes, yes. you got yourself a good thing going yeah. here. Yeah. So we started checking out the bamboo and we didn't have internet in those days yes, yes. so we went to the library up yeah. at um cast or whatever and uh, very little on bamboo and yeah, no one yeah. knew anything about bamboo really yeah. and then when i was in england on on visiting my relations um i <clears throat> saw this article in the paper some bamboo man in kent mm -hmm. so i said oh wow let me go and visit him mm -hmm. so when i went to visit him now he produced this book. Mm -hmm. It was, became, and, and he gave it to me when mm -hmm. we, we left. And it was called the David Faraday's Book of Bamboo. And mm -hmm. it became our Bible. And mm -hmm. I brought it back to Jamaica. And mm -hmm. in it was just like a, you know, a, a manual for mm -hmm. everything, doing everything with bamboo. Everything bamboo. Everything with bamboo. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it's still, on, it's still sold, you know? That book? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Well, probably on Amazon? Yeah. Oh. And there's probably, there's many other books now as well. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course, with the internet now. Yeah, you everything know, is, like, yeah. Hunky dory, it's easy. But those days, mm -hmm. no internet, mm -hmm. no cellular. Mm -hmm. We had a different ch uh, battle, mm -hmm. and it wasn't easy. Mm -hmm. But we knew that when we were chartering these waters, mm -hmm. it was going to be the same difficulty for everyone else to charter. So we must make, you know, do make our thing and make, make it work. And you did, and you did. I want to, I, I want to say, congratulations for what you. I know it's not nothing of value, of importance, of saying it's easy. I know that. I know you would have gone through your struggles as well. Mm. But for the vision, you know, yeah. to make it happen and being the first, as far <laughs> as we know in Jamaica, Bamboo Factory. I want to salute you. Yeah, thank Sa you. Uh, salute you. I um, went to Thailand on a, on a bamboo workshop in 91. Mm -hmm. And they gave us some seeds. And I brought the seeds back to Jamaica. Bamboo seeds? Bamboo seeds. Uh -huh. and took them to bamboo the seeds. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Don't forget your point. <laughs> To plant out bamboo. Bamboo seeds. Bamboo, yeah, yeah, they, they bamboo, seed. Do they have seeds? Yeah. I so didn't. different bamboos flower at different times in uh -huh. their life cycle. Some uh -huh. flower one, you know, bamboo in Jamaica flowers every hundred years or something. Ah. Some bamboos flower every year. Oh. Some bamboos you can make beer out of because they flower every year. And ah. So you have fifteen hundred varieties of bamboo. Oh. So anyway, I brought these different varieties back. Yeah. And we went to the university and the botany de department and they germinated them out and planted them and I brought them back to the farm at came out and planted as many as I could wonderful, around the farm. You know? Wonderful, wonderful. And this is what you have now. So you have your so you have your own supply, I presume? Not really, you know. You we should have. Yeah. Those ones weren't they weren't that great mm -hmm. varieties. Mm -hmm. And since then we had some Colombians come visit us and they bought some guadua mm -hmm. and I planted them all out but they've all died and mm -hmm. now I don't have any more guadua. Mm -hmm. um, so Mm -hmm. You know, need to start afresh again. But it's like getting the energy. You know, I've been in the business for so long. Yeah. You have to, you have, to have that that drive yes, that yes. keeps you going every well, day. You know, I think this is gonna give us some energy, guys. Uh, <laughs> if you are liking this, give us a like, man. Mr. Hamilton is doing an awesome job here. He needs some energy. Give us a little energy. Give us that like. <laughs> I know he's. I know you're gonna reach out to him because, yeah. man, this is something awesome you're doing, man. I want to salute you for that. Thank you. I wanted to find out though what. I know you mentioned there are several varieties. I think you have over fifteen hundred. You said types yeah, of bamboo. Yeah, yes. But what would you say are the top? Just for my for my benefit and my my, my viewers, what would you say are the top fifteen here you, you you know of or use in Jamaica? Well, we don't have many varieties locally growing in. Jamaica. Okay, okay. People like myself that bring in the odd seed and the odd variety, mm -hmm. you know, have happened over the years, mm -hmm. and they're in various private collections mm -hmm. in the 
botanical gardens up, oh. at, up at um, Castleton and Princeton, mm. so mm. a few different varieties. Mm. And um, we have the mountain variety, blue mountain up in the hills, mm -hmm. it's very small bamboo. Mm -hmm. And then you have the Chinese bamboo that mm. they call, that like grow like a hedge, mm -hmm. you know, those f small fine mm -hmm. varieties. Mm -hmm. So most of those are more com um, ornamental type bambus. Mm -hmm. So the vulgaris, Bambusa vulgaris, is the main bamboo you see everywhere. In Jamaica? Yeah. The vulgaris? The vulgaris. Yeah. And it looks different in certain areas because of the conditions it's growing in. So if it's on the hillside, it may be smaller. If it's down in the valley, mm -hmm. it may be larger mm -hmm. because of the soil conditions and the rainfall and mm -hmm. those and such as. Okay. Awesome. But um, the, the bamboo in Jamaica has a very high starch content, mm -hmm. which is good for paper and other things, but it's not very good. For, it, it, it's very liked by insects. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's a hard bamboo to, um, to treat. Um, and keep on top of because of insects okay. and it also it bends and weaves and it cracks look at this bamboo here mm -hmm. on the ground here mm -hmm. um you see the cracks showing up there already when it's dried too much which one is there you see this one here ah okay okay got you got you this is just wasted now we have yeah. to use that you're not be able to use that you know yeah and then it wiggles and it bends yeah. see this one here yeah That one, yeah. So you have to cut, you have to cut it in the bend, and yeah. have to utilize, it, you know. Yeah, so yeah. When the builder comes, he has to say, okay, well, I'll get a piece out of there, and I'll get a piece out of there, yeah, yeah. and so forth. But bamboo is such a dynamic product that you can use it for other purposes. I heard that they, you can use it for pulp. For, no, was it pulp? Pulp. Pulp. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. Yes, yes. It can be used even yeah. after you. These are the shavings from the bamboo after yeah. after cutting it on. Yeah. But right now they got a pump. They've got a pulp factory. Are uh, being built or being planned to be built mm -hmm. in in the country. Yeah. And so they can um, use those that you don't need. The, 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 the kind of piece. yeah, they're, they're going to need a lot of bamboo. Wow. It's an ambitious project to yeah. say the least. Yeah. And I can tell you one thing: it's not easy getting bamboo out of the bush in this country. Yeah. We don't have elephants like they have in Thailand. Oh, the, uh, the elephants they use to take them out. Well, <laughs> <laughs> to pull them up. I tell you, <laughs> you can imagine they're yeah. heavy yeah. and the bamboo far in the bush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need something to get in there yes, and get yeah. them out. I usually yeah. true. They're usually far and then on, on the hillside, yeah. riverside. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And then when you, they're all clustered up. Yeah, yeah. They're hard to cut. Yeah, yeah. Chainsaw. Yeah. When we cut our bamboo, sometimes we have to pay extra to the guys just to bring out the bamboo. So you pay almost the same amount for the bamboo yeah. and then you have to pay the same again yeah. for a crew to bring the bamboo out of the bush yeah. because it's a hell of a job. Yeah. Awesome. All right. I have a few, que I have a few questions, Mr. Hamilton, I yeah. wanted to ask you. These are questions, guys, that you have that I'm asking Mr. Hamilton to help us to understand a little bit more about bamboo. Uh, number one is, ba well, first, I think this is a, a, a I, think that, I think I know the answer, but I'm going to ask him still. Is bamboo a good material for furniture? The obvious answer is yes. Ah, uh, yes, it's um, it's perfect because perfect. light and it's yeah. very flexible mm -hmm. and strong, mm -hmm. and can be you know crafted you know mm -hmm. with the right tools. Mm -hmm. It does um, it does take a certain knowledge um, um and skill that is Man, peculiar to bamboo. Yeah. Than people are regularly used to working yeah. with wood. Yeah. And upholstery. Yeah. But um, you know, it doesn't take our guys Good. long to learn. Good. If and and the next question: Does bamboo furniture last? Well, uh, I think you alluded to it, but I still yeah, want yeah, to hear yeah. your answer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So once we treat it properly, mm -hmm. and the bamboo has dried out enough when we treat it, because mm -hmm. the problem can be if you take the bamboo and you put it in the dip, mm -hmm. and it's not completely dry, mm -hmm. but then it, the, the dip doesn't permeate the bamboo. Mm -hmm. There's water, too much water in the bamboo. When the water dries out, it mm. leaves a sort of pockets of bamboo mm. that are prone for insect attack. Mm. So as long as the bamboo is properly cured and dried before we dip it, mm -hmm. then once it's dipped, you know, it can last. I, I, we we're here for 30 years and our mm. bamboo is still going strong. It'll have a, last, a lifetime. Yeah. I think you said a lifetime. A lifetime, yeah. yeah I yeah. normally say yeah. it lasts. Which it's bamboo is best for furniture? I know you mentioned a few. Do you know, would you know that or? I mean, no, because, um, you know, there's different varieties of bamboo mm. um, that can be used in, for different s particular pieces of furniture. Mm. 
Um, the, one of the best bamboos for construction purposes is guadua, mm-hmm. angustifolia, mm-hmm. which is common in South America, particularly Colombia. Mm-hmm. And it's very straight and strong, mm-hmm. thick walled and large mm-hmm. diameter and big. Mm-hmm. But maybe you want smaller bamboo to make more refined pieces of furniture. Mm-hmm. The more you look like the iron bamboo mm-hmm. and the dendrochronomus strictus. Mm-hmm. And you have all different types of bamboo that have different countries. Diff- and um, they, 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 you know, I've seen them in bamboo furniture more being used because it's smaller diameter, mm-hmm. more I refined. Yeah. And maybe so, okay. How is rattan different from bamboo or strong? What is well, first Rattan's of all, a vine uh-huh. and bamboo is a grass. Yeah. So it's fundamentally a different plant. Mm-hmm. And bam, but rattan grows in a very particular microclimate mm-hmm. in the rainforest, which isn't really Jamaica mm-hmm. um, rainforest. Okay. So we don't really, there is a type of, there is rattan growing here at castles and gardens. Mm-hmm. I've seen it. I'm not 100% sure mm-hmm. if it's a, furniture if they use it for furniture yeah or if it's or a just a different display. type of rattan okay good, sure. good. okay but um they use the, the wicker more in jamaica than the rattan yeah it, and it, is it stronger than bamboo is rattan stronger than bamboo you think oh um, hard no, to say oh no bamboo is a king in bamboo strength is a, oh. yeah, yeah yeah cool but um rattan is is durable mm-hmm. the thing with rattan is um the but they use it d- d- well they use it on bamboo furniture too in, in the where they use it as binding. Mm-hmm. So they strip the rattan, mm-hmm. and those strips are then wrapped around the joints of the mm-hmm. bamboo furniture. Mm-hmm. And also in rattan furniture, those same wrapping around the corners. Oh. So what you may find is, after a number of years, the wrapping mm-hmm. you know, uh, is attached by nails or glue, and mm-hmm. that may come rust or may come off or something, and then the wrapping starts to unravel. Mm-hmm. and the furniture gets looked upon pretty ugly and it gets thrown out or mm. people want it redone because the ratting, the wrapping it ah. goes and that's the, the weak point of it. Oh, Strong otherwise though. Good, good. Can bamboo be left in the rain, Mr. Hamilton? Well, Bamboo furniture. <laughs> that's an interesting question because a lot of people <laughs> think that bamboo is like from the rain, yeah. you know, out in the rainforest. Yes, yes. It's a natural product and yeah. like many natural products, it will suffer if it's left out in the rain. Yeah. So yeah. whether it's wicker or even most wo- you know, wood mm. or rattan mm. or bamboo, mm. once it's dried mm. and varnished and whatever, mm. you know, the ultraviolet and the sun and the rain um, are very strong elements yeah. On, yeah. on furniture yeah. and natural products. Yeah. So that's why you have to have, you know, people use plastic chaise lounges or mm-hmm. their, their likes, you know? Yeah. Makes mm. sense. And the next question I, ha- I have here. We, 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 do, we do try to, on certain areas, like on a veranda porch mm. where it's exposed to a certain amount of mm. rain, mm. we've tried different finishes, mm. which are ultraviolet um, protective. Yeah. And, um, and they're showing quite well. Oh. They, they prolong the life of the it. The life of it, yeah. Uh, understandable. Uh, well, and, and that's the, well, there's another question that someone had. He says, can bamboo furniture be kept outside? But that, yeah, I think you just alluded, you yeah, explained so. that. Uh, the final question. We normally say a covered veranda is okay, but not really outside. Okay. If we put it outside now, like for a gazebo or something or a treehouse, it weathers a little bit, and then what we recommend you do is paint it with an oil paint or something yeah. to protect it. Yeah. And then it will last for a long time. I have a treehouse in my house. Oh, you do? Yes. Oh. And um, it's doing well. Oh, awesome. It's, it's colored, gone gray and everything, but still holding up. Still holding up fine. Yeah. yeah. And then the, I think the final question I have for you, these are the questions that some of my, my viewers had. It says, how can you tell if bamboo furniture is real? <laughs> uh, I, guess, I guess there are a lot of fakes out there, huh? I guess there's faux ba- what they call faux bamboo. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it was a fashion back in the day. Yeah, right? okay, okay, okay. Um, so, you know, bamboo tends to have more uniqueness than mm. the, the faux bamboo tends mm. to be perfect. Mm-hmm. Everything is perfect. Mm. The joints are not, you know, it's like perfect and yeah, uh, very uniform. Very uniform. Yeah. So uh, well, when you see that, you need to look out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. Good. Um, what? What? Do you have any finished products here? We could we could look at. Sure. You have. We yeah. take a quick look at some of them, guys. I hope you're getting value from this. If you are, let us know. Jo- hit the like button here, man. Mr. Hamilton has been awesome. I don't uh, know. There's some pieces. Explaining to us. And a bamboo.
So this is said, the Sangha Melchan is a love seat. Oh, but love seat. There's one in my office too that's got cushions in it. Okay, cool, cool. In fact, there's other chairs in my office. Okay. That's uh, a carib chair. The carib chair we spoke about you yeah. spoke to earlier. And a club chair behind it. A club chair, yeah, yeah, yeah. This looks like one of the mice I've seen books to the same, the, the ancient people. <laughs> All right, now what is this? What is this? I'm curious. Lamps. Lamps. Yeah, some of my workers made these We're using guango base. Oh, so guango at the bottom. Yeah, and then they split the bamboo, open them up, uh -huh. and wrap a piece of rope around the middle. Uh huh. Wow, wow, why you put the la electrical, what? This is, this is interesting. Yeah. What, what else do you have here? Uh, um, so this is, need some more cheers here, more yeah, cheers here guys. a bit dusty. Yeah, that's, that's understandable, we are in the factory. This is a pull out. Okay. So the ottoman pulls out from underneath and yeah. you have your leg rest in front. Cool, cool, cool. All right. And uh, I think you see I have some more in the office that we could look at as well. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. So these are our upholstery departments uh -huh. with um, foam everywhere. Yep, yep, Not yep. Not much going on right now. Yep, yep. Okay, so this is coming, coming to ship. Mitered joint, mitered nice. corner. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Very neat. We have to fill the inside of the joint up. What do you use to fill it? Wood. Okay, post. We have to check the post away. Okay, cool. Yeah. And then we have to use filling around the post. Yeah. yeah th th this, this is, yeah. This takes a lot of skill, though. These gentlemen must be very skilled. Huh? Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. So Martin is the supervisor. Yeah. How, how, how I mean, do you, do you have a school that you can learn bamboo here, or is it kind of you? Yeah, we train? teach we teach people from every now and again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. So this is the school. Yeah. This is the school in Jamaica. As far as, far as you know, is there a, is there a school for Bamboo furniture making in Jamaica? No, no, not really. Okay. Um, we have had, we had um, some women mm. with a SDC mm -hmm. um, project mm -hmm. and they came here, about 10 women, mm -hmm. and they worked here for like two weeks mm -hmm. and we trained them in various um, craft skills mm -hmm. working with bamboo mm -hmm. and they, they, they picked up a few tips Good. and learned a few things. Good. All right, and I see my my brother is doing. What is this, my brother? What are you doing? The filling. filling. Oh, the filling. Okay, okay. So this is where it. This is this is gonna. This is where it join. Oh, oh, just yeah. to cover the hole. Yes, that's it. Okay, okay. So that's that's a commercial filling kind of thing, right? So that's blue and so on. And see, I'm just from the kitchen. Oh, which is the same bamboo powder? Yes. Oh, cool. We use the, 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 the chichi dust. Yeah. So certain bamboo mm -hmm. that are being eaten by chichi, mm -hmm. we put them down to one side mm -hmm. and we collect the dust. Ah. <laughs> and then we use the dust uh, with the glue. The glue filling. To make the, uh, the Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. So it's pasted on, it's dried and sanded off. Excellent. All right, guys, we're going to look at a few of the finished products Mr. Hamilton has here at the original bamboo factory in Caymanas, Jamaica. All right, guys, so we're taking a look at some of the finished products here at the original bamboo factory. This is one of them you saw earlier. Classic Jamaican design. Uh -huh. we, we created it actually for my father who wanted something high uh -huh. so that he could rest his neck on uh -huh. it. And um, it came a um, snooze chair. And that, this cushion, I don't think, is the right uh -huh. one for this one. Yeah. It normally goes higher yeah. in the back. Cool. Backrest. Oh, nice. And then this is the same club chair you saw uh -huh. earlier, which is a very simple design. Right. Then you have the um, director's chair. <laughs> like director's that. chair, yes. Yeah, yes. Very comfortable. Cool. Yeah. Wow. wow. We don't have too much in the office here. Uh huh. Um, so this is one of the long, the um, the uh, sofa type chair. Yeah, the love seat, the sunshine love seat. Oh, you call it the love seat? Two seats up, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then this is a Lauren chair. A Lauren? Lauren. Oh, I just, oh you mentioned the Lauren earlier, the, as in Ralph Lauren. As in <laughs> Cool, it's a different color, it's a different finish. Yeah, we have all different sides of finish. Cool. Brown, pink, yeah. white. Yeah. You name it, it's pickle, Good. pink. Yeah. Cool, cool. This is lovely. And then there, there is a... See our catalogue. Yeah. Um, dining tables. 
Mm-hmm. Mars, that's the, was it, the Pegasus. Uh, the Pegasus? Yeah, we did uh, the Pegasus. That's yours? Yeah, oh, we did yeah. it a while ago. Uh-huh. A ring console with the top drops down. Uh-huh. A flat, um, a wrap day bed uh-huh. with, the, with the matting, with the grass thing. Uh-huh. This is some designer has given us a chair to do. Uh-huh. Chaise lounges. Uh-huh. Drop-down sofa bed, uh-huh. which becomes a, a flat, uh, a double bed when it's dropped cool, down. And so cool, cool. Chaise lounge. These are Round Hill. All the rooms at Round Hill have those. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, well, you didn't mention that one though. What's the one? Cha- chaise lounge. Chaise. Oh, the same thing. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> patio set. Yeah, a little dining set. Uh-huh. Um, a cluster dining table. Uh-huh. This is That's a lovely. sunshine cluster. Uh-huh. You make all of these? these are, yes, these are, we made all these. Yeah. Lazy Suzanne made in the middle uh-huh. with a flattened bamboo top uh-huh. dining table. Cool. And glass top, pedestal, sunshine pedestal. Uh-huh. A saffron chair, three legged chair that we made. Uh-huh. Um, where, the, where you sit on it, the bamboo slats uh-huh. have a give, uh-huh. so they go back a little bit. Uh-huh. But we had to we put a piece of bamboo in the top there, so it wouldn't go back too much. Mm-hmm. They were going back a bit much. Um, beds, you know, all the things. Um, four poster beds. Wow. There's a bar, bamboo blue. Mm-hmm. Uh, columns at couples. Mm-hmm. Um, various bar chairs, uh-huh. bar stools. Yeah. That's a trial design. Good, good. The Lorraine design, Good. the snooze chair design, wow. some lamps. The lamps again. Yeah, we've got new lamps. But these are custom made. Custom yeah, made well, yeah. we made these designs over so people can choose one. And yeah, our, yeah. Everything is custom made. Yeah, yeah. The bed again. There's a day bed. A living room a here drop again. down day bed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good. Um, swing, love seat. Oh. <laughs> swing with the chain. Cool. Swing cool. with the rope. Yeah. Nice, Side table. Nice, nice, nice. Custom chandelier. Cool. Wow. Tall lamps. Uh huh. Drop down a uh, big day bed at the caves. What is this one? That one? This one, a sleigh bed. Oh. It's floating. Oh, so it's like on water? No, it looks like it's floating. It's oh. underneath. Oh. So this is the sign. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I was going to ask you who are some of your most notable clients? So you, you started to tell us about well, we made we, we, we made L- Ralph Lauren's bed. Uh-huh. You made Ralph Lauren's bed? Yeah. For, you, you, we, for he at his house at Round Hill. Ah. He had a bed and we had to remake it. Ah. Um, and um, Golden Eye at um, for Mr. Blackwell. Black, Blackwell we, yeah. we do his Chris. um but he had bamboo furniture made just before we started mm-hmm. in, 90, in um, 1990 mm-hmm. by the designer mm-hmm. Linda Garland, mm-hmm. who was based in Bali. Mm-hmm. So when we first started, we came to GoldenEye and found the furniture there just being mm-hmm. installed. Mm-hmm. Fast forward 20 years. Mm-hmm. And they come to us and saying their furniture has chichi in. <laughs> and can you do something about it? Yeah. But when we treated the bamboo with our dip, what happened was the amount of dust that was all inside the bamboo columns yeah. got 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 in, turned into balls of you know Lumps. mud yeah. of, and, and the smell yeah. just l- never came out. So oh. when we put it back in the rooms, it stank of kerosene. And oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Eventually they had to buy a new bed. Yeah. We made them a new you bed. You made them a new bed. Yeah. So who are, who are some of you? So you have Ralph Lauren, Chris Blackwell. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, you mentioned some of the properties that you... Know, and then some, some, some sort of Junior Reed and Luciano. All of those guys you made. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Um, and um, there's... Yeah, various people over there, you know, yeah, yeah. villa owners awesome. all over Jamaica. Awesome, awesome. In, in business for 30 years, you can't, awesome. I can't think how. Ah, I know. <laughs> you know, a lot of uh, uh, furniture is everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And people always go around Jamaica and come back, I saw your furniture, man, it's everywhere. I keep yeah. going into places and yeah. it's there and there. You know? Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Uh, where, where, if person are interested, other person are interested in your, in, in, in your product, in the bamboo furniture, how can they reach you, Mr. Hamilton? 
Right, so you'd go to the normal, you know, you'd Google us or Instagram us or however you normally go mm -hmm. out to, you know, if you just put Bamboo Furniture Jamaica, you'll find us. Yeah. Um, because we're the only Bamboo Furniture place in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. um, but the original Bamboo Factory yeah. or Bamboo Jamaica yeah. both find, will find us. And we have um, <clears throat> Instagram and Facebook. Cool. Um, and now we have a, a website as well mm -hmm. where the link is on the um, Instagram page. Cool. But that website is recently put in mm -hmm. and we're, we're finding it very hard to find enough photographs to fit it because there's so many things we've done but we don't have yeah. suitable pictures to yeah. go in. So Understand. it's a bit of a yeah. Understand. battle there. But. Understand. All right. Excellent. Uh, there's a question I asked my interviewees, Mr. Hamilton. Mm -hmm. And the question is this. In your mind, what makes Jamaica special? <laughs> what makes Jamaica special? Um, diversity. Yeah. In people. Yeah. In land. Yeah. I mean, my son recently moved with his mother to Costa Rica. Uh -huh. And very nice country. It's got yeah. a great reputation. Oh, it's a lovely yeah. place, Costa Rica and everything yeah. and everything. You know, but to go to the beach, you know, yeah. it's like a seven. She said she went to the beach today. Oh, it's just a seven hour journey to the beach. I'm like, what? <laughs> I said, yeah, that's a cool beach. There is a closer one, but it's about an hour and a half. Oh, I said, wow. oh OK. <laughs> so, you know, you get kind of spoiled living in Jamaica when, yeah. you know, you just, you know, yeah. an hour and a half would take you to a top beach. But yeah. if you just go to the sea, yeah. and, you know, it's, yeah. often, you know, it's a short distance. Wow. And people, you know, the, the closeness of everything in Jamaica is, is good. Mm -hmm. And the people um, are diverse and, you know, have a good sense of humor. Yeah. And, you know, it's a, it's a good mixture of, you know, yeah. of, of colors and, yeah. and, and backgrounds. Yeah. yeah. All right. Lovely. Bamboo, the original Bamboo Factory, guys. That's Mr. Hamilton. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, you're All welcome. the best in your endeavors. All the plans that you have. Hope everything works out. I am excited. I am you know, happy that I was able to make the trip and I wish you and the business very well. This bamboo business. <laughs> yes, well, we're, we're persevering. Yes, good job. Persevering. Excellent, excellent, excellent work. <laughs> Give my regards to the team as well. Thank you very much. Very good. That's it, the original bamboo factory. I'd love to hear from you. What do you make of it? What have you learned? I've learned a lot. Drop a comment down below. And remember, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I invite you. To join us man, hit that subscribe button, tap the bell notification. I do a lot of videos capturing stuff like these. I call it the real Jamaica and I don't want you to miss any of that. So hit that subscribe button, tap the bell notification. That way you see updated in all my latest videos. This is indeed the real Jamaica. <laughs>